Ladies and gentlemen, it is not a good night. Starting this video off on a negative vibe or a negative tone because no beer. All right, everybody. So with that bad news out of the way, let's get on to more happy things. Uh, so number one, we're back with another video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, I appreciate you being here. Uh, so let's get right to it. Tonight we're going to do um, one of the most common and fun kind of novelty ideas. Uh, glow in the dark baits, UV baits. Baits that uh, you can charge with a light and they will glow underwater. Um, in fact, I actually just made a few earlier um, just to kind of see what it's like before I filmed a video. And uh, here's the picture that I got, a glow in the dark hand pour swim bait. So um, anyway, that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, this is my glow in the dark powder right here. This is Lure Works UV glow powder. Um, you know, I bought a pretty small container. I actually put it in my own container, but um, it's, it's pretty expensive stuff. Um, so I won't be using like a ton of it tonight, but we're gonna make a few things. We're gonna make some uh, uh, jerk baits, some plastic jerk baits in it. We're gonna run some worms. And, uh, and just kind of experiment. We're gonna look at um, what it looks like, just the powder itself, no pigment in the plastic. Um, and then we're gonna experiment with adding some flake and a small amount of pigment to, to the plastic with the glow powder to see if you can still make a decent color and still get a decent glow. Um, because it's not very pretty just by itself, just the powder in the plastic. It, it's just kind of a cream color. It, it would work well for shad colors, um, but, but not much else. So we're gonna see if we can make actual colors and still get the UV glow effect. Um, so I'm filming this video at night. We can cut the lights in here and, uh, and it will get super dark. So um, I'm really uh, excited to see what we can do. So anyway, we're gonna uh, go ahead and scoot the camera up and get started. Okay, so we have our mold tined up here. We have a ribbon tail worm. We have a uh, fit, six and a half inch finesse worm. Um, and then we have our jerk baits here. So these are bass tackle molds here, um, Angley AI molds here, and then dead on swim bait plastic. Uh, the swim bait plastic obviously is great for these jerk baits. It's a little on the firm side for worms, but not to the point to where the worms just ain't right. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these cups and we're gonna cook it up now, and then we're gonna add our powder. I think you can stir it in either cold or hot. I don't, I don't think it matters. I added it to hot plastic, and, uh, and it seemed to work okay. Um, so anyway, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cook this up, and then we're gonna shoot a few baits with just this in it. Um, no color, no flake, and, uh, and then we'll see what those look like and, uh, and how well they glow. So uh, yeah, we're gonna cook this up. Meet you right back. Okay, so we have our uh, swim bait plastic there. And let's uh, add some of this glow powder. So we'll do about one of these uh, quarter teaspoons here. And uh, you can see that stuff sinks like a brick. So uh, hopefully we won't get bubbles from stirring it in. But uh, you know, we, we need to stir uh, very well. Any powder, guys, uh, y'all really gotta stir in. Okay, yeah, you can see how it's just kind of like a, a cream color by itself. So, not great, not terrible, but uh, it's, it's not really supposed to, I don't think, like look great by itself. But uh, I'm pretty, pretty excited to, to see these. So, we're going to go ahead and shoot a few baits here. So, let's get our injector ready. All right, we're going to shoot a few of these... Uh, jerk baits for sure so i think like i think out of most of the baits that you would make with uh this glow stuff i feel like a little jerk bait or swim bait would probably be what you would like actually practically use um and, and there may be a worm so we're definitely going to make a few worms you know i a couple of years ago i did a lot of night fishing with simple jack and uh, I would have loved to have had some glow-in-the-dark worms, I'll tell you that. That would have been cool. A lot of little striped bass on one of our lakes get around the docks and everything. So 
you know, it almost looks like it has nothing in it. So um, I do think you'll be able to add pigment to this and still get a pretty good effect. All right, now let's open up one of these jerk baits and, uh, and see what they look like. Ah, come on, baby. Yeah, got a little micro bubbles in them, but uh, I wasn't too worried about it. Yeah, the, the main thing is to see what the actual powder does to, to the plastic. And I have to say, it's uh, very surprisingly colorless, which I like. Um, I actually like that a lot. So you're, you're not left with something that just kind of looks really bland. It's almost like there's nothing in it, which will allow you to probably add some, some cool flake and uh, maybe a little bit of other pigments and still have a, a good looking bait that glows, which I think is the goal. You know, I don't, I don't think you want to just only shoot just glow pigment. You want to also make the bait the way, look the way that you want to with the colors that you want to. All right, now let's get a look at these worms. Yeah. All right, not bad. And uh, what we'll do um, here in a little bit, after, after we make everything, we'll then uh, charge them with the light and then see how everything glows. Um, but for right now, we're just gonna focus on uh, making a few different versions, a few different offerings with the glow pigment, and then we'll kind of see which ones perform the best uh, from a uh, glow standpoint. All right, so now we have the other cup, and we're just gonna go with like a watermelon. Um, so I figure a green color would probably work well with the whole glow-in-the-dark idea. So just a few drops here of this green. Not gonna do it very thick. Again, the idea is to try to re retain as much of the glow as possible. It's like I had a piece of the uh, wax color get in there. So we're just gonna mix this in. Yeah. Okay. I might need to keep heating this a little bit more. But yeah, that, that's not too thick on the green. Um, and then what I was gonna do was add just a little bit of flake here and there. So maybe some small purple. 0 .008 purple. Uh, just kind of for a texture. And, uh, and then some pink glitter. I don't use this very much, but uh, it's actually quite beautiful. So we're gonna add some of that, maybe a little bit more. And uh, I don't know if this color is gonna look any good, but I just grabbed some random stuff off the shelf. The whole point is to see if you can mix up kind of light colors with flake and pigment and, uh, and see if they still glow. So that's kind of what the color is gonna look like there. And uh, then of course, our glow powder. Okay, so we're gonna add a scoop of that. Okie doke. And get that mixed in. Here's what this is looking like right here. Definitely a little, little bit of bubbles in it. So we'll uh, let those sit and hopefully get those out. And, uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna uh, try and do next. All right, there's the color there. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and draw up. And uh, this is definitely one that I wanna see in the worms. So we're gonna do these uh, finesse worms over here first. Go ahead and get a couple of those. So that's five cavities each. So we're gonna make 10 of these. And then hopefully I'll have enough for a jerk bait. I'm not sure. I think... Well, we'll probably get at least two of those, hopefully. So, top off our uh, worm sprues over there. Come on, baby. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Hopefully that works. And, uh, yeah, ho hopefully uh, the whole experiment works here. All right, so I actually don't have my drumsticks tonight, so we're gonna do a drum roll with the knives. Here we go. Not bad. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. 
Not the best color I've ever made, but uh, they should glow in the dark. So, pretty cool. Almost, almost looks more like a chartreuse color than, you know, it's like, how did that turn into that? But, uh, you know, that's just, the profiles of these colors are, are pretty diverse. You know, you can use a little bit, get a light green, and of course you can darken it up uh, the more you use. So let's go ahead and look at these. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely want to see what a glow-in-the-dark worm looks like in a tank uh, bouncing around uh, in the dark. I think that's going to look pretty cool. And we'll get these other ones here. Yeah, not looking bad. All right, so I remelted the uh, the the, reg the the first batch of plastic that we did, um, just clear plastic with the uh, glow pigment, and uh, and then I remelted this stuff, and we're just gonna goof off with the divider cup, and uh, and and just kind of pour some kind of random swirls here, and see if these also glow. So now I'm you know taking the uh you know both sides now have pigment in them so it's it's going to be a, probably more of a challenge to see the glow in it but uh you know this is kind of a, a test video to see what you can get away with and still have the glow effect so you know the reason why i chose purple is because or the june bug is because it's a darker color which in my head you know i, I would think would kind of limit the amount of UV properties, you know, I'd, 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 I would think it wouldn't shine as brightly um, in a dark color, and that's kind of the point, is just to see if it uh, affects that and to what degree, so um, that's kind of the, the thinking there. So anyway, um, got a couple of those, and uh, we'll get those out of the molds here in a little bit, and uh, then we'll, we'll, what we'll do is we'll lay everything out on the table, we're going to charge it with one of my shop lights, and then we're gonna cut the lights and just see how they look. All right, we're taking these swim baits out real quick. Seeing what we get. Yeah, kind of neat little color fade there. I mean, th those actually look good by themselves. So, you know, if they uh, actually do glow in the dark, then I think that would be uh, a pretty cool, pretty cool thing. You know, that that way you don't have to just make regular well just the plain you know that way everything doesn't look like this is what i'm trying to say you know you can hopefully you can still add color and still get a pretty decent glow so yeah not a bad looking little bait by itself there you you wouldn't know that that has a uh, uv glow powder in it okay so here i have uh everything that we made laid out and if you'll remember um these both these cups had the same amount of plastic and uh, and I put one of those quarter teaspoons each into each one so they have the same amount of um, UV glow pigment and I'm sure you can add more if you want to boost the uh, glow in the dark effect so anyway I've got this shop light here and uh, and we're just gonna charge these up for a, for a little bit I know we're just gonna kind of hover the light over uh, all these baits I have a feeling that only these are really gonna show up. Um, you know, I, I haven't tested this yet, but um, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I just, I have a feeling that I'm not gonna get the results from these that I want, even though they have the same amount of powder. Um, but, but we'll see, maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised. So anyway, I'm gonna keep charging these up for a couple of minutes, you know, really give them a, a fair shot and uh, then I'll meet you back with the camera and then we'll cut the lights and see which ones uh, glow and which ones do not glow or glow less. Okay, so we've been charging these for about two minutes, just kind of going around each part here. Um, really trying to get, really trying to get these charged up. So we're gonna stop here and um, my money is that those are gonna show up the best. So let me, uh, walk over and cut the power real quick. As you can see, really only these are glowing and they actually glow pretty well. I hope that's coming through on camera okay. Um, I'm not sure if it is. You can see the actual bottle of glow. <laughs>
pigment is working well. Um, but yeah, that's uh, not exactly what I wanted to see. Um, I might try a few other things. I wonder, I wonder if you mixed it with white pearl, if you would get, if that would almost like enhance the glow. I'm not sure, but uh, oops. Yeah, you can see that, that those worms are, are glowing pretty good there. Yeah, so there's a glow in the dark worm. That's what it would look like in the water. So yeah, I actually think, and, and uh, I really hope the camera's picking this up. I have no way of checking, but doesn't that look cool, you guys? Okay, so it will work with white pearl. This is that little ribbed hand pour swim bait with some remelt white mica powder, just white pearl, and um, a considerable amount of glow powder. I probably added about twice the amount to this that I did the other ones. And you can see there that, uh, you know, it, it actually glows well um, when mixed with white colors, or, or at least white powder. So you know, that's arguably um, brighter than the worm. Well, the worm hasn't been charged as recently as this one. But um, that's that so far, that's gotten the best glow effect out of all of them. Um, is mixing it with some white pearl and adding more so I definitely think adding more helps and Adding darker colors even if it's a watermelon definitely seems to hurt it Well, all right guys, um, that was sort of my first few experiments with glow powder um, I had only made like two or three baits um, Before I filmed this video. I just I kind of messed with it when I got it um, and then I, I made a few earlier today, um, you know, just so that I could just see what I was working with. But, uh, you know, that's the first time I've tried to, like, add color to it and actually see what you can get away with. Um, doesn't seem like you can get away with a whole lot, unfortunately. Maybe if I had just really loaded up, you know, this color with a lot more of, of the uh, glow-in-the-dark pigment, you, you might could have gotten a better result out of it. But you know, the stuff isn't cheap. Um, so I, I think you're gonna wanna use colors that, that you can kinda get the most bang per buck with it. Um, and this, like I said, this you know ugly remelt white pearl um, with quite a bit of, of the stuff in there, uh, to me had, had the best glow effect. Um, even, even better than just clear plastic uh, with my just kinda standard unit of measurement. You know, I, I, like, to, I like to do formulas kinda one quarter teaspoon at a time, as you guys probably know. Um, so yeah, you know, really cool stuff. Um, I hope uh, I hope the footage came through on camera. If not, I guess I'm gonna have to go back and do it again. So you're you're not gonna see the bad footage anyway. Didn't make much sense, but uh, yeah, really cool stuff. Um, I've had a lot of you guys ask me to do it. I've just never had any um, until pretty recently. So um, yeah, if if you do a lot of night fishing and you make your own baits. I think that's definitely uh, something to check out. Um, you know, that stuff right there is the Lure Works stuff. Uh, MF probably has it. Uh, you can probably get it a few other places as well. But uh, it's definitely really fun to work with. Um, I, I'm sure it would look cool in some creature baits and baits with lots of appendages. And, and then you could always do split tails, like a glow-in-the-dark tail on a swim bait. That'd be pretty cool because fish like to key in on the tails. So you could do... You know, you could do like a big hand pour swim bait, pour the tail, uh, and just load it up with glow in the dark, and then you know make the body whatever you want. And uh, in those low light conditions or early morning conditions, you know that might get smacked. So you know, lots of things for you to try, lots of experiments, and uh, and I think that's what making your own baits is all about. So um, anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I learned some things that I didn't know. I've never played with this stuff. Um, and like I said, this is my first time with it. So I'm sure I'll develop maybe some better habits with it. I'll try more colors, adding more of, of the powder, and, uh, and maybe come up with some cool things. But um, as far as first impressions, um, that's what I wanted to show you guys. So anyway, we'll catch you next time. Shoot me some comments down below. Let me know what you think. And uh, please like and subscribe. Tell your friends. And we'll catch you next time.